What up, what up? Oh, everything looks straight. I look good. Happy September 24th, 2021. Let's get into this. I want to talk a little bit about uh, censorship, but before I get into that, I want to tell you a story because I've been releasing these uh, videos, and I just released the Aztec Warrior Mexico, uh, the remix and the video, and I want to start talking about the, the city I live in, the Tijuas, down here in the Baja, all right? Let's talk about a little bit how different it is. Let me give you an average day in my life today because I had a pretty just normal day today. It actually rained, which just proves to me how the weathermen don't know what the hell they're talking about because it never said there was a chance of rain. But at the same time, it proves to me that the energy's changing because I'm planning on washing my car tomorrow. And it rained today because it usually always rains the day after I wash my car. Seriously, 42 years of that, I'm like, wow, really? Okay, there was no sign of that. Because <laughs> I got to pull the Miata out of the station. I got it all locked up and up nice and tight. Little baby's asleep. And so I was like, well, I got to get it washed because I got to go run errands. I actually got to do some stuff tomorrow, which I'm planning on doing. But anyway, with that being said... Um, I found this new little taco shop, little taco stand close to my house, and I never was uh, trusting to, to, to go there because it was the Taco Varios, which are they they have like 10, 11 different tacos in these like steam pots and everything. And then finally, I just was like, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. I was just scared of getting sick or whatever. Turns out, delicious. Unbelievable. Okay. I got today. I'm going to tell you what I got. I went. I exchanged some money. I got 10 bucks. All, all I did was 10 bucks. I came back. I got three tacos. I got a aboganda or I got basically a meatball taco, a fish taco, and a huevo taco, eggs, which was like huevos and red sauce. Like It was like huevos rancheros. These things were big. Cost me 75 pesos, right? This is why I love being single. I mean, we'll get to what I'm talking about, but I love being single down here. Because I go there, right? And it, it ain't all easy. Like, even the other day when I did the Aztec video, I still had to go all the way over here to go pay a bill. Because I don't trust the online situation here and all the cards and the debit. And I don't trust all that. So I go pay Efectivo, which means cashola. All right? Cash is king. But anyways, so I get my little three tacos. I come home. I could barely finish it. I mean, that meatball taco was incredible, right? So I eat them, and I'm laying here, right here on my floor. I got my yoga mat here, and I just lay there half the time and got my foam roller messing around on my back and my neck most of the days. And then it rained today, so I didn't do nothing today. So I'm like, man, my little fat self, I got to go walk or something. So I'm like, all right. So I was like, well, what if I get hungry later? I was like, why don't you just go walk down to the store and get something, eat, get a piece of fruit or something. And this is it was so funny because I go to the store and I just pick out a, one banana. I get one banana because if I buy like a bushel of bananas or like a bushel of oranges, they'll go bad, especially with all this heat right now. And so I buy one banana and then I get one packet of peanuts because I'm like, that's some protein and some fruit, right? Because I ate a ton. So I was like, I know myself. So I'm like, all right. So I'm standing in line, I'm looking at everybody else with their groceries, you know, the families, because it was like 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and everybody's got their groceries, and I'm just standing there with a, one banana and a plastic bag and a bag of peanuts. By the way, if you ain't never had no peanuts in Mexico, man, you got to try, they, they do japonese, that just means Japanese, and they got the salsa and the lime and the, oh my god, these, these are crazy, right? So I've got my peanuts and my one banana, and... I go, you know, pay for it. She's like, 16 pesos. And I pay with 16 pesos in coins. And I was like, I'm just walking out of there and I'm just laughing because I got my little plastic, used to clear plastic bag. You know, you put the fruit in. I got one banana and <laughs> peanuts. But that's that's kind of normal for everybody because people usually buy as they go down here. Like, they'll go buy as they go. And that's how I've become. Like, I buy as I go. Like, I need food because I don't have no food in my, my cupboards except for some bread, peanut butter, jelly, and some honey, you know? And I was like, I don't always want to just eat peanut butter sandwiches. Let's go get some peanuts in case I get hungry. And I already tore that bag of peanuts up. I got like a handful left. And that banana was gone before I even, <laughs> I don't even think, I think I ate it while I walked home. I don't remember. But with that being said, man, my total overall bill for food today was 91 pesos, which is like $4 and like 15 cents. <laughs> just, I was just thinking about that today. I was really breaking it down. I was just like, I've just come so accustomed to that. And even when I've gone to like Thailand or Philippines or something, like I, I just, I just have morphed into that. And 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 some people are like, oh, Mike, you know, I live vicariously through you. I was like, well, I mean, 
I couldn't imagine like raising a family down here, but like being single as a male and keeping myself, you know, just single like that, I, you know, I, I, I find that stuff interesting. I like doing stuff like that. Like most people, they just down here and they're like, why don't I just go to, you know, the restaurant or whatever. And I'm like finding taco stands all over the place. So I might start doing some videos about that. Who knows? It's just tricky because it's like, I don't like shoving cameras in people's faces and stuff, you know. But a lot of times when I do pull the camera out, most people try to get on it. But some people don't like it, but I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes. But I don't know. That was just kind of my day-to-day. So I just want to give you a different story because uh, uh, I know where the energy is going. So we got to start entertaining a little bit more. But with that being said, we're still in the thick of it, all right? We ain't out of this yet. So I want to get into the uh, censorship. And last night I did a video, but I was out filming, and I was in that sun, and... um. It kind of drained me a little bit. You know, I just got my little vodka Diet Cokes and stuff or whatever I'm drinking on. Hold on. Mm. What did I say the other day? Wet my tonsils? Yeah, soak my tonsils. Yeah, time to soak my tonsils. All right. So I want to get into censorship because I looked at my video yesterday, which was uh, September 23rd, 2021. I'm so glad I put the date because I just posted it on um, YouTube. And I, and I was talking about this already. I was kind of picking and choosing my words because I was going to go into kind of a little bit of racism thing. And from what I saw and how they attacked the border, the agenda, how they attacked it, instead of just going down there and, and dealing with it, they just threw uh, racism at it like they've been doing, the agenda, right? And then I started talking about Mad Maxine Waters, right? The senator from California or wherever she's from, I don't know, old beat down. And I called her. She looked just exactly like the girl from the Django Unchained, the the butler, excuse me, not the girl. She looked like the dude, um, the Django Unchained, the butler. And that's what she is. She's that house boy, right? Throw her out there because of the color of her skin and just say everything's racist. And, you know, it's so funny that the Django Unchained because they said, oh, the somebody got whipped and the, the horses and the cowboys. It's just so... The plan is just so falling apart. And I was like, she's the female uh, Al Sharpton. Wake up today, first thing I see, Dan Bongino. I posted on my Facebook. Just scroll down, you'll see it, calling it out. And then everybody's calling it out now. And this is why I got to come at the news. I'll give you a different perspective because I just can't do everything. I already called this. I already knew it was coming. I already saw it yesterday. The same, the attack. I've already told you, I've read their cards. I got their energy. I'm in their head. It's done. Before 2020, I was asleep and I wasn't awake. Now, the universe said, wake up, Mike, I need you. And now I could just, boom, I'm already there. And that's why I want to give you a joke and a little bit of my life before I do this, because that's coming. Right now, we're just in the thick of it, right? So, Al Sharpton is out there. And because we've been getting loud and standing up, because the silent majority is way bigger than this, 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 this minority, way bigger. We're just waking up. Some dude was just heckling the hell out of Al Sharpton because we've had enough of his sucked up ass. Okay, we're done with him. He's fake, phony, and false. But in the past, we would just be like, whatever. We knew it, but we didn't speak it. Now that dude, he couldn't even get a word edgewise. He couldn't even get a word in edgewise. And you got Benny Johnson, all of them. They are all. I just kept looking at the feed, and I didn't want to. I, once I saw Dan Bunchin, I didn't want to see anybody else. I was like, yeah, I already called that. Yep, that's why I state the date because I'll predict things, willingly or unwillingly, or unknowingly knowingly or unknowingly, and just boom. <laughs> And that's how it goes. Sorry, I did have some allergies today with the rain. Mm, whatever. And with that being said, uh, I said the Al Sharpton. I like, by the way, it's very, helped me very well. Yesterday, I got a little, uh, I was picking, choosing my word, but I am dyslexic. And I've just, I have my uh, uh, audio shield here, or windshield here, and I've been putting my talking points here. I don't have everything written out, but I have my talking points. If you have dyslexia, do it because it helps a lot. Oh, my God. Leaps and bounds, especially me, because I'll just go off on a tangent, and then I go, where was I? Boom. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, you see, here we go. See, I mean, now I'm, I, was, I got kind of lost. I was going there. But here's my next point. Now that I'm awake, like in the Matrix, I don't want to go back to sleep. I am not going back to sleep. This is the attack that they've done to us. Take away our freedoms, take away everything, and then slowly give it back to us. And people will just be like, all right, man, I'll just, you know, just come on, man. And that's the thing is that I keep seeing some of my friends. They just want to go back to normal. And that's why I am just kept myself secluded because I was like, we're not going back to normal. They want you to accept this new normal. And when I go out there and the other day I was filming, there was a point where I turned and I'm in the, the, the middle of the street in Mexico. And this dude had his mask on. I saw him coming and I just turned. I was like, nope. 
literally looking like one of them aliens from They Live. He had his shades on with his mask, and he literally looked like the aliens from that movie They Live with Roddy Roddy Piper. And I just was like, no, I don't want to give this guy attention on my film. I don't want to. No, I won't accept it. L let, me, let me let you see this beautiful ass take that I'll touch music on later. Okay, I'm not going back to sleep, all right? And that's another reason why in my last video I said, well, the, the, the attack, at least you can see it now. And then I said, let the sleepers lie. Let them lie. Don't worry about them anymore. And I had the card that I had in my hand. And I said, we have to create a sleeping, uh, excuse me, we have to create a parallel universe in a parallel world where we just let them go. Let them go. Don't even worry about waking them up. Right now, create new stuff and walk away from them. Just walk away. Later, they'll come be like, oh, man, turns out I'm a you know, a sports fan, you know, like they were like brainwashed to be a sports fan because they lived in a city and eventually they're going to be changing up their hat and be like, oh, yo, that's the way we wear a hat now. Is that the way we do it? Oh, okay. I, I didn't know I was wearing my hat. Yeah. You're going to be, you're going to see it. You know what I mean? It's not cool to be a Cowboys fan. Now we have to be New England fans now. Okay. Trump's cool, man. I always like Trump. And you were like, we're there. Let the sleepers lie because it's just like the Matrix. It's so like the Matrix where they tell Neo, some of these people are going to attack you because they just want to go back to normal. It's like one of my friends said, there's nothing I can do. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to just wait it out. There's no way of waiting it out right now because they're slowly going to give you stuff and then pull it back. Slowly going to give you stuff and then pull it back. And that's why I refuse to go back to sleep and I will not stop making videos. I will not stop making videos. doesn't matter. And like I said, I can make these videos. I am going to be aware of the censorship. And so I watch my words. But I'm still going to talk about stuff. And that's why the political stuff, like today they did the uh, AZ um, inventory. See? Right there. I already watched the erection of 2020, so I already know. But the fact that they're just doing it and it's coming out, and then uh, Trumpy Bear has a, a, a thing going on tomorrow, a thang in uh, Georgia. Hmm, I'm going to watch that. It's pretty interesting timing, right? I'm not mad about Biden because at some point I had to realize these people are so asleep they need the necessary evil. So if you are awake and you're watching this, realize that Sleepy Joe was a necessary evil. He needed to go in there because these people were so brainwashed. They were so hated, this guy, Orange Man Bad, that they needed something to go in there and wake them up. There was nothing else to do it, so they needed necessary evil. And the reason that we're here and this is happening because these people are evil. And I've been saying this. I'll say it again and again and again. They were in our schools, restaurants, bars, medical industry, everywhere. And now they have come out and we can see the attack. And that's why in my last video I said, well, at least we can see it now. Let the sleepers sleep. Don't bother with them. Start creating new uh, platforms. And that's why I had that card read. We had the man and the woman sitting on a little rock looking at a new where. That's where we're going right now. We need to create new things. We need to get on Gab. We need to get on, uh, hey, what's up, Gwendolyn? Thanks. We need to get on these other things because let the sleepers lie. They're done. They want to go back to normal. They want to, there's no going back to normal. I'm not going back to, oh man, just, Mikey, just put the mask on, man. Just come on. It's, it's just come on, do it. No, I'm not. These Haitians, they're new to you at the border. I seen them four years ago. I seen it. I seen it happen. Get shut down, and then you're like, "Oh, they're they're coming from. They're not coming from Haitia. They've been in Mexico waiting like a plan. And when they were told, they stormed. You don't understand this. I will show you. I can go tomorrow and just film Haitians tomorrow if you need me to. That have come to uh, Mexico and have built a life here. And nothing wrong with that. But they were let in. And when Trump came here, he talked to the president of Mexico and said, "You need to stop." this thing you need to stop and i'm gonna film a video where i show you i was there at the caravan i saw it i'm gonna show you everything t uh tomorrow rain today or it's probably sunday probably sunday i gotta do stuff tomorrow. no sunday and i'm gonna go show you where the river they let them out i saw the van i saw everything all stages oh this is tear gas oh it's tear gas where there's a cameraman standing over the tear gas it wasn't not tear gas it was not tear gas but with that being said uh i want to talk about the censorship and how they really set up the censorship they uh, what they did is they wanted to create like 159 million sexualities because they can have 159 ways to censor you. That's what this whole thing is. This is what the whole LGTB crew, white, black, this and that. So they could find ways to censor you. You can't say that. That's xenophobe. That's exophobe. I still don't know what a xenophobe is, but that's what they wanted to do. 
They wanted to give you 150 ways, 159 million ways to censor you. You see the trap? You see it now? As you wake up, you're like, why did they do this? Why? Did... I'm a, I'm a pan. I'm a this. I'm a fork. I'm a them or a they. That's what it is. That's the attack. Create division so much. We got, oh, I, I hump goats or whatever. I don't know. They went crazy. I don't know what they did, but they went there. And, and, and really what, they, what I wanted to say is they, they went there and they bit off more than they can chew. They bit off more than they can chew. They, and that's, that's their downfall. They had the advantage because I said it. I seen these people, and there was at points where I'd see these people at bars and stuff, and I'd mess with them, and I'd look at them, and they look at me, and it was almost like they lived that movie where they're like, "Does this dude know?" And they'd be like, "I don't know," but I did. And then now you could see them though, because before they were in the shadows and the secrets, they were there in the bars, and they used to mess with society. They thought it was funny. They thought it was funny to the, uh, like a guy like me go out there and I try to talk to girls. I go to the bathroom, I come back, and the girl would be gone because it turns out somebody that was working at the bar or whatever went to the girl and said, "I'm a psychopath murderer." I was wondering why girls were calling me. Uh, oh, you have the tendencies of a, of a serial killer. I'm like, what? Well, oh, your car's clean or this and that because there was people doing it and thought it was so funny. And then when I realized it, I stopped even trying to get girls in the United States. I sat back and observed it. And that's why I, I know what I'm talking about because I was on the scene in San Diego for, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years, more than that. And I was just like, well, look at these fools, man. And now they crept out. Now they're out. They're like, like we're going to will. And they came out with their grand attack. And they're like, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to. And they bit off more than they can chew. They can't handle this anymore. They can't sustain it anymore. They, they used to have this silent control. It's done now. Now it's just right out in the open. And so as we start to wake up, that's why you got to let the sleepers lie. Because a lot of times the sleepers are awake. And then when you crack that, that nutshell of that sleeper who thinks he's a sleeper, he's going to give you the agenda. And he's going to be like, Mike, just, just stop, man. Just, just, just. Just come on, man. Put the mask on. It's okay. Just get the jab. And be like, there he is. He's programmed. He's a sleeper. Just like in the Matrix, they're going to fight you. Okay? Uh, because they're out of new ideas. That's it. See, I'm glad I got my little points here. They're out of new ideas. And it's why I was able to say Al Sharpton last night in my last video. Because I knew Al Sharpton was, it's the same thing. All right, boys, you know what to do. All right, sin, we're going to make the border racist. Get me a racist photo of some cop punching a black guy, and let's run with it. They're out of new ideas. It's the same attack. It's the same playbook. It's just, And I said this earlier on Anomaly's live feed. I said if this was a football, because I'm a big football guy, I said if this was a football team, I would beat them every time. Because their playbook's going to be run the ball on first down, run the ball on second down, and guess what? Third down, because they got to get the first down, they're going to throw, and then it's done. And then after that, they punt. You just know it. You're just like, all right, stack the line, stack the line. And they and you think they'll they'll switch it up. No, they're just like, I won a Super Bowl two years in a row with this, and that's how we do it. Like the old Raiders used to say, we're going to run the ball and then throw it over to your heads. This is just a whack-ass team that's, that we're looking at. And as we start to wake up, we got to realize that, all right? They've thrown everything at us, and now we can see it. So as everybody starts to wake up, not everybody will wake up. So a major point right here is watch your words on censorship. Understand when you are going on these live streams, these people are coming out. They're going to come out with the medical terms. And these late night shows are going to come out with the medical terms and all these other things to get you to trip up. And that's why my last live, I was like, I don't want to say all this stuff because I knew I was going to go into like talking about the Django Untamed, Un Unchained, talking about how Al Sharpton and I didn't know he was coming, but I, I thought it was just going to be Mad Max. But they they sent him out there and people are waking up. But understand, they got all these little levers, words and things to trip you up because they want you censored. And so they're going to try to have you censor yourself. So if you're going to be doing lives, watch your words. With that being said, I think I got my point across. I'm going to go finish up my uh, Alex Jones and uh, my rum or my vodka diets. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow, hopefully I come. I don't know. Tomorrow I should have something. But uh, Sunday, I'm going to go out. And I have a video talking about the caravan. I was there. It's on my Rumble. It should be on my YouTube. But I'm going to um, actually go down to the, the spot where it all happened. The whole caravan. The, the, the caravan they had, I'm going to go to the spot tomorrow and i'm gonna film all, or sunday and then so i'm gonna have it all filmed i'll try to keep it under three or four minutes and uh because that, that's all i need i'm just gonna show you like what they did what they did i was there i saw the damn thing all right i was just trying to get to work and all this happened and you got to keep in mind when that happened i knew nothing of nothing i was like 
who knows what the hell I was doing. I'm not even going to lie. Who knows what the hell I was doing the night before. I'm not going to lie. I was probably getting freaky with some some fine asshole or something. I don't know. But with that and said, being said, I woke up now and I researched everything. I didn't know about no Russia gate, no spy gate, no nothing. And so for the last year and a half, I just studied everything. And now I'm here. And then I had to bring in my card reading. And those are just knocking it out of the park right now. So anyways, with that being said, peace out.